Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's another beautiful day out and I'm out here in the shed doing this uh, small little video. This is basically if you have a three-wheeler that's a bit difficult to start or runs and then it doesn't run for the rest of the day. Um, you may have a simple problem and I just want to make a small video to show you guys what fixed this problem on this bike. This is the one from the video Will It Run? And um, this is my recent, most recent acquirer, it's the 200M I bought off the older gentleman with carburetor issues. But anyways, I was out here yesterday trying to start this bike. I got it running for about five seconds and then it shut off and it wouldn't turn back on again. I messed around until I realized I just had this real simple, simple problem going on. Also, I was talking to one of my buddies, he got a, um, a Yamaha. 200 ER, it's a Yamaha trike or Yamaha three wheeler that he bought, and he was telling me how he was having a hard time starting the bike, and uh, he wasn't sure what was wrong with him. He recently just bought a two, and he wasn't familiar. Turns out we we're both having the same issue. I just at the time yesterday I wasn't thinking on this because it's almost too simple of an issue. But as you can see here in this trike, my choke cable is completely mangled, and actually yesterday when I was kind of thinking about this. I actually um, popped the choke cable out. It normally sits in right here. I got a video on how to change the choke cable if you're not too familiar, but it just fits in uh, in this little slot, this uh, choke cable right here. You can see this one's bent in that position where it was probably, where this bike was probably parked for a long time. It just, the cable was naturally bent in that position. So you can see down here, I got the cable off and that means that my choke lever is basically all the way down which that means that the valve, the choke valve, is basically fully opened so all the air like that's coming in through here on the, underneath the breather box coming in through um, underneath the frame and through the air box all that air is flowing directly into the engine and when you have a cold engine you want to have some choke on, you want to have that valve a little bit closed because we want to we, we want a heavier fuel Ear to, ear to fuel ratio going into that engine so it will start easier because if the air is cold and the engine's cold that fuel is not going to want to ignite as easy right so we close off that valve by pulling up on the lever and then um, we get a richer atmosphere going into the combustion chamber and then all that engine will run just to show um, how the choke valve actually operates I got a carburetor this is actually off this bike but um, I got the Chinese carb right on it for now. This is the OEM carb. You can see this is what we're actually looking at. This is the pivot arm for the choke valve. It's just a butterfly valve, like a rotary style valve. You can see right now the valve is fully open. Like air can flow through the air, in, the air breeder box or into the air intake. It can flow fully with the maximum volume of flow through the carburetor. And when you turn the carb, or you turn the choke on, I mean to say, you start pulling up, you can see that the valve closes. So if the choke is basically fully on, you can see that most of the air is restricted. So that gives us a much richer fuel ratio going into the combustion chamber. But yeah, right now with um, no choke cable on, basically this lever has nothing to hold it like half up or nothing to hold it like a little bit closed so that means that um, with a mangled up choke cable you can pretty much expect that your bike is going to be really hard to start so this is actually a cheap fix I got another one of these um, cables on order They're only like a ten dollar cable and they work pretty well so simple fix anyways so hopefully this can help somebody it might just be as simple as a choke cable Another thing that can cause um, hard starting is actually um, the mechanical events are inside of here underneath that CDI cover you can see right here. If those springs break internally or they lock up, you can get, you could definitely expect um, a hard start because the mechanical events are a um, spark timing event. So uh, when the engine revs up, it um, advances your timing a little bit, but when it's off, no, technically you're supposed to be a little bit retarded in terms of timing 
So that's pretty much two small things that could possibly make um, your ATC hard to start. Make sure you got a good airflow ratio, such as having a good functional choke cable. And uh, inside here, you can actually have your springs break. I'll do this. This will be all covered as part of my electrical series. I'm gonna. You can see this is actually uh, pretty much electrical components. So we'll be testing that. I'll take all this out, and we'll go from there. Well, I guess I'll see you guys again soon. Just wanted to make that quick little video because I wasn't thinking on that issue. And my buddy had the same problem the other day with the Yamaha trike that he just bought. And it reflected back to my first three-wheeler I ever bought. I never actually had a choke cable. The older gentleman that I bought my first one off, rather than have a functional choke cable, he actually had just a, a piece of wire. And he had to just tie it off down here somewhere. And he used to manually just hold the choke choke wherever he wanted to so um, that worked great for him but when I first got it I wasn't aware and I had some trouble trying to start my bike but yeah hopefully this helped you guys I'll see you again soon for another little episode